Good morning, uh, seventh graders, U.S. history. We're talking about the 1960s this week. And if I wore my tie-dye t-shirt, 1960s hippies love, summer of love, 1967, 68, one of those two. Um, boy, it was a lot more than that. It was a very tumultuous decade in which the desire to fulfill the promise of the United States, the Declaration of Independence, all created equal, were endowed by our creator with uh, uh, inalienable rights, such as life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. People were like, yeah, we want those, and we want them now, and we're tired of waiting for them because it's been nearly 200 years. Um, the Civil Rights Movement, I ask you guys to read a lot about that. The Civil Rights Movement really comes to a head in the 1960s. Big victories happened in the 1960s. Uh, the Voting Rights Act, Civil Rights Act, the ban on discrimination in housing, uh, the ban on discrimination um, uh, in all levels of society. Um, has it worked entirely? Has it? Did it change everything in the 1960s? Um, no. We're still working on them today, uh, whether it's voting rights or housing, um, all kinds of things. Um, but it, not to discredit what happened in the 1960s because they were important victories that needed to happen, but it's not like it's over. Uh, still fighting for those today. Uh, a few, so the 1960s, uh, we see the uh, sit in protests, uh, we see the uh, protest for the, um, uh, the, uh, do, 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 um, uh, throughout the the, the, the states. Um, that model, that model of a protest movement of including civil disobedience, and what is civil disobedience? Civil disobedience is when you consciously, you choose to break the law. You so say, this law is wrong, I'm going to break it, and you can send me to jail. Um, thousands of people are getting arrested uh, by choice. Um, um, by forcing the police to arrest them. Like, if you say this is, you know, if it's illegal for me to ride on this bus in the front of the bus, then arrest me, go for it. And it forces the situation. It makes people see what's going on and hopefully makes people change what is going on. Um, one big thing that happens in the 1960s we can see over and over again is the power of television. Because now television, TV is in everyone's homes. Everyone gets their news from TV more than they do in the newspapers in the 1960s. And the so when the uh, in the when black students are trying to enter a school in the South and they're met by a mob of racist white people yelling at them and the police beating them, people see that around the world. And it forces the situation, um, and and so um, in the mid 1960s, these laws get passed. Um, it's also really important the civil rights movement because it becomes a model for a lot of other movements uh, that start up in the 1960s. The anti-war movement against the war in Vietnam, uh, civil disobedience is involved. Um, uh, mass protests are involved. One of the reasons why the Vietnam War was so unpopular is that there was still the draft. The draft is when the government sends you a letter saying, welcome, you've just joined the military. Um, and so you had to go fight in the war. Uh, not a very popular thing to do. Uh, there was a draft, of course, during World War II. Um, and, but World War II was the kind of war where everyone was like, well, we've got to do it. Um, were there people against World War II? Yes, there were. But the vast majority of, of uh, Americans supported the war. Um, whereas in Vietnam, there was not a vast majority. There was no great feeling that we needed to go f over to Vietnam to fight. Uh, why were we fighting in Vietnam? Uh, in the 1940s, two decades earlier, uh, we had the end of World War II. World, World War II was the war for democracy. They're fighting fascism. Uh, people should be independent. People should be able to rule their, uh, decide how to run their own lives, their own countries. 
the people of Vietnam and Laos and Cambodia were at that time part of a colony called French Indochina. France ran it and they uh, said no. And one of the things that they, uh, when they wrote there, like, no, we're going to be independent, uh, what, who did they quote? They quoted the Declaration of Independence, wrote, written in 1776, of course, by Thomas Jefferson, declaring that they have the inalienable rights to life and liberty and the pursuit of happiness. France didn't see it that way, and they fought a war for until the late 1950s uh, to stop them from becoming independent. This is going on around the world, not just Vietnam. France is also fighting in Algeria, which is in uh, northern Africa. Uh, uh, colonies of Portugal, colonies of Great Britain, colonies uh, are, are all demanding independence in the 1960s, and a lot of them are getting it. Uh, Jamaica becomes independent in the 1960s. A lot of countries become independent in the 1960s through struggle and through oftentimes through uh, war and fighting. Um, but I like a bit of myself. Um, Vietnam War. Um, sorry, lost my train of thought. Let's go back um, to uh, the uh, presidents of the 1960s, because presidents are actually quite important uh, in, in, during this decade. Uh, they they really uh, lead the country and sort of represent the country. Whereas when you look at the, like the late 1800s, um, Grover Cleveland, some guy in a beard, country, whatever, not a big deal. 1960s, the presidents really changed things. Uh, in 1960, there's an election between John F. Kennedy, the Democrat, and Richard M. Nixon, Richard Milhouse Nixon, uh, as the Republican. Kennedy wins. One of the reasons that he wins is there is television. When there's a presidential election, there are debates between the, the, the two candidates, um, as there will be soon between Donald Trump and Joe Biden. Blah, blah, blah. Um, it was on TV for the first time in 1960, and people saw young, handsome John F. Kennedy um, talking about uh, making America. Uh, uh, ask not what your country will do for you, but ask what, what you will do for your country. It's a whole new... Thing, uh, young, vibrant, uh, against Richard M. Nixon. And Nixon looked horrible on TV. He had five o'clock shadow. Five o'clock shadow is when you shave in the morning, uh, which I haven't done in a while. Uh, you shave in the morning, and by five o'clock in the afternoon, you've got your beard kind of coming out. And it's like this dark thing. And it kind of makes you look sketchy. People thought Richard M. Nixon looked sketchy and untrustworthy, which, surprise, surprise, he was. Uh, so Kennedy wins in 1960. He is young. He's got kids running around the White House, little John John, little Caroline. They're two years old and they look so cute. And Kennedy is married to Jackie, um, Jackie Kennedy, uh, who is also cute and smart and charming. And she charms everyone. She travels around the world and everyone loves Jackie Kennedy. And it's all of a sudden, the United States is like, Oh, it's young and hopeful, and things are going to be different now. And then, in 1963, in Dallas, uh, John F. Kennedy is assassinated. Again, the first time that that happens, when there is television. People are, are watching TV, and there is uh, an interruption. We interrupt the show to present this uh, news that the president has been shot and killed. And the country really goes into a deep sense of mourning over that and just seems like, what happened? Um, it, it had been a long time since the president had been assassinated. Um, and it really uh, upset people. One of the things that changed that got people out of that, believe it or not, were, was the video that you saw of the Beatles. Uh, the Beatles show up in the United States in 1964, just a, three months after the assassination. And it is the, um, and they look really different. They have long hair. You see how long their hair was in that video. And they're singing infectious pop songs and rock and roll. And she's like, oh, we can be happy again. Um, and that really ushers in what we think of as the 1960s with um, the hippies, Summer of Love. It kind of starts at that moment of just of, of letting loose again. 
John F. Kennedy, JFK, is replaced by his vice president, because uh, that's what the Constitution says. Uh, Lyndon Baines Johnson, LBJ. JFK is replaced by LBJ. Um, Lyndon Baines Johnson is an amazing polit was an amazing politician. He could make things happen. He knew how to sweet talk you and also threaten you. He was a tough, can't say the word, um, and he got stuff done. Uh, and, and the stuff he got done uh, were many of the, the, was the civil rights legislation, the Voting Rights Act, the, the Civil Rights Act, the banning of discrimination in housing. Uh, he completely uh, took the, uh, the power of the civil rights movement that was marching in the streets and made it happen in Congress and made it happen on a federal level. Um, and it's kind of an amazing legacy that like he was able to get all of that done. Uh, and it changed how politics worked in the United States because of that. He was a Democrat, uh, Linda Maine Johnson was, and the white Democrats um, were kind of, uh, at that point they were like, oh wait, the Democratic Party is in favor of civil rights? Uh, lots of uh, uh, the racist whites who were Democrats uh, changed parties and became Republicans. In 1968, Johnson doesn't run for re-election, which is unheard of. That never happens. If you were the president, you run again. You don't just say, okay, I'm done. Uh, he didn't run because he, he had become so unpopular because of the Vietnam War. The Vietnam War had started in the 1940s. 40s, as we said. In the 1960s, it becomes uh, the United States pours uh, hundreds of thousands of soldiers there, and uh, it's an all-out big war. It's a part of the Cold War in that it's a battle between the, the U.S. side, the capitalist world, and the uh, Russian-Chinese communist side. Um, and But it's not between them. The United States doesn't actually directly fight China. The United States doesn't directly fight Russia. It's fighting the Vietnamese people. Um, 50, over 50,000 U.S. Uh, soldiers died in the, in the Vietnam War. Um, over 6 million Vietnamese died. Um, so he does not run for office, uh, run for re-election in 1968. 1968 is a tumultuous year, is a tumultuous decade, tumultuous year. Boy, that word. Um, the um, tumultuous means things, it's a revolu, things are just like tumult, everything's out of control, everything is churning. Um, 1968 uh, represents the first time as well that students become a political force. In the United States, um, college students take over college campuses to protest the war, uh, to protest a variety of things. Uh, students are marching in the streets. In uh, France, um, a student uh, rebellion uh, almost takes down the whole country. Uh, people are uh, protesting and rioting in the streets in Paris in, in May of 1968. In Mexico City, students are protesting during the Olympics and are uh, uh, killed by the, the government. Um, there are student protests around the world. And that's the, really the beginning of, of students as an active political force, uh, uh, young people as an active political force. Um, so in 1968, uh, Lyndon Johnson doesn't run for re-election, and who wins is Richard M. Nixon. He's back again. And he had a secret plan, as he said. He says, I have a secret plan to end the war in Vietnam. His secret plan was to bomb them. And more bombs were dropped on Vietnam than all of World War II. In fact, twice as much. Uh, twice as many bombs were dropped on Vietnam and the surrounding countries, Laos and Cambodia, uh, than were dropped on all of Europe or in Asia during World War II. It was a plan that was described by someone in the Pentagon as we're going to bomb them back into the Stone Age. Um, so the, the, 
decade ends with Richard M. Nixon uh, as as the president. Um, bu 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 what else do we need to say about the 1960s? Your test, which I'm going to send, we're going to type up very soon. It's going to ask you some questions about the civil rights movement. Um, I, of course, will ask you some questions about the three presidents of the 1960s uh, and who they were and how, what makes them different. Um,